all right so this is the hardware device that i've completed and i've already dropped an update about this particular project which is basically a solar power monitoring system which i've completed for a particular student project and then i have the system well assembled and i'm ready to test run so to run this system we have the hardware interface the data reading to this mobile application and i'm going to run you through on how the system works so first and foremost this is the terminal you connect your solar source that is for the solar panel so for now i'm going to be using my lab bench power supply currently the voltage is 9.8 that's what i'm going to be using and then the output will be drawn from here and from this output i can now either monitor the load the load current which is the total power drum which is the voltage input from here and then the corresponding current draw from here which is for the interface on the hardware device um, on the hardware device from the lucid and also on the mobile app here is for the voltage here is for the runtime and also here is um the current and also the power this is the data log over time so let's test run this system as i have this as my load so the system is powered on so it start booting while it begins to search for network so all I'm going to do is to turn on my office network. So the office network is turned on. So shortly it's going to pick up. Alright, so we have the system picked up now. So the current runtime is 26 seconds. You can see that 26, 31 seconds. It keeps on updating in real time just as you can see but currently now the voltage at this point is 0 volt 0 power and this is 10 volts at this point so all I'm going to do is to trigger the uh, lab bit power supply by pressing this button it flips to green so that means the output is set out so we have 10.35 so the reading will start updating on the mobile app just as you can see 10.34 10.34 not so well that this particular power supply have a, a voltage offset so if i actually read it using this multimeter you will still confirm what we have so let me do this let me use this just to validate the voltage reading so i have this so i'm going to be reading from this point all right so this is what we have here there's a moment so this is what we we'll have and this is what we we'll have so 10.14 so about um, 0.1 voltage plus that is um, for the offset so this has just more or less 0.1 voltage um, offset which is also good for a system that I designed using voltage divider as the voltage network so what I'm going to be doing now is to connect a load onto this so that we can see the current reading so to do that I simply connect these here and then these here okay i connected it the wrong way okay so this over here and then these here and if you watch so closely we are drawing the voltage dropped actually 9.7 for 9 points what we have here then the current is 0 0.2 amps so it's also updates here but the reason why there is some kind of a lag let me do this so you can actually see what we have so the reason for this lag you can see 0 0.24 0 0.24 0 0.25 from the power supply so that's what we have i will measure this 16. so one beautiful thing i have here is the fact that I can actually also monitor this system from the web dashboard so i can actually get this data ready for the web dashboard okay, after update this now so these are the variables and a whole lot of stuffs have been updated on the system and this is just the beauty i have for this particular project where i can actually take data ready from this terminal and also interface it properly on this so rounding this off i've made the design information ready available for anyone so this is the schematic diagram for anyone that intend building upon it and also i made a little bit of um, pcb fire i don't think that will be of much need but in case you need it you have it here so the design information i will be attaching the link for you to download this if you need it on the 
first comment section or it possibly the video description and that is basically for a project for the solar power monitoring system which i've completed just as per purpose and that's the system working as expected